Hey guys, today we're doing a uh, quick review on the Zoom H2 Next, uh, which is better known as the H2N. Uh, this is a portable audio recorder and it can be used um, handheld. Um, I'm planning on mounting it on top of my Canon 60D, but let's give it an unbox and uh, see what it's all about. All right, we'll start by unboxing. Um, okay, we've got this internal part that slides out here. We've got a booklet with all the instructions inside it. A couple of AA batteries, a little micro SD card and adapter. That would be the recorder there. Sure there's nothing else. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, very nice. It's a nice little sleek design. It actually fits inside my hand. It, um, it is plastic construction with the metal mesh, but it, it feels quite, quite solid. Right, we'll Zoom in a little bit more and then um, we'll, have, we'll go over all the features. All right, well, batteries would slide in the back. So let's try and open that up there. Oh, there we go. Slides open. Now the, uh, Recorder, from what I've read on the net, it's um, two AA batteries should give you approximately just over 20 hours of record time, which is loads. So if you're going to be using it sort of like every day, you'd be better off getting rechargeables for it. Okay, so there's these little ribbons that you run underneath the batteries, so you can just sort of pop out the battery like that when you're ready. So I'll make sure they're in. I'll slide that shut. Just trying to be careful doing all this for the first time. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's get the SD card loaded. So it's got the SD card slot at the, um, at the bottom there. So we'll just open that up here. There we go. Card. We'll load that in there. Okay. And then should have the little picture there. Yep. Card goes in with the logo facing towards the batteries. that. All right, now to turn this thing on, we've got the little power indicator down there. So let's slide that down and it powers on H2N Handy Recorder SD Card Access version 1.2. So now it's gone through its cycle up stage and it's showing all the levels here. So as I talk, you'll be able to see all the bars down there slowly going up. Um, I haven't adjusted it to anything. Now on the top here, there's this little protective sticker. We'll just get off and then I'll run you through. The recorder has the ability to record in XY format. Ooh, all right. Okay, so XY format which is your two speakers that are crossed over inside and um, MS, which is mid and side. So it's got one pretty much going forward and then two going to the side. And then it's also got two channel and four channel options. Um, so on the right hand side, we've got a, um, a menu in a home button. We've got a play with a forward and backwards button. So there's a little toggle selector. Uh, we've got the mic gain on the side, so, so depending on where we turn this depends on how much how much gain's showing. So I've got to work out what the settings are 
I believe around the minus 12 decibel is a good is a good sort of setting. And then we've got the hold button at the top, which stops any of the the buttons working. So that that's where you want to leave it while you're while you're recording, so no one accidentally bumps it. Uh, we've got the record button just down the bottom here. And then on the other side, we've got line in. So you can put an external microphone that has a 3.5 mil jack in, uh, in through that socket there. But volume um, up and down. I believe there's a little speaker here somewhere just for reference, just for referencing a remote socket and a line out, which is your headphone jack. Um, so what I've ordered is I've ordered a pretty much a splitter cable. So it's a line out that will go straight into my Canon 60D, but it's also got a female socket so I can plug my headphones in. So what will happen is I'll be recording onto the SD card here as well as the audio track on the camera footage and I'll be able to monitor everything with my headphones. And then we've got a USB to be able to plug it into the computer. On the top to change all those settings, you've got this little arrow here. So that's a little switch. So if I switch this around, all right, so I've got it facing X, Y now, which is most likely what I'll be recording pretty much everything in. And now it's got X, Y stereo at the front there and I should be able to adjust everything. And now when I hit the record button, there is this little LED here which should light up. So as I hit that there, I mean, oh, hang on, I've got hold turned on. Let's turn that off. Okay, and if I hit that there, now it's recording. And you can see the little counter there counting exactly what we're recording. So I think I need to go outside and do a bit of a test. Um, I'll just go outside to my lorikeet and just let her... Um, talk away for a little bit and you'll be able to see how clear it is. So I'll, I'll do it from maybe about a, a two metre distance and you'll be able to see what's going on. All right, we'll stop that test there. I've still got to read through the instructions. Uh, I'll set the date and everything like that. I uh, just want to also note on the bottom, you have got a quarter inch thread there. So it is meant to be mounted sitting, uh, sitting upright like that. But I've got a little mount that allows me to, um, I haven't received it yet, but it sits on top of the, the hot shoe and it allows it to tilt down via a little ball joint. So it'll pack into my bag a little bit easier. And there is also a little lanyard um, access point on the side there to be able to put uh, a lanyard through or maybe even a, a key ring to be able to clip it onto something. So I just want to leave it at that and we'll do a bit of a test and then we'll come back to, to wrap things up. So I'm just outside now doing the test. I've got my headphones plugged directly into the Zoom H2N so I can just monitor outside recordings. I can hear the aircon from the, uh, the shop next door and someone's got a bit of a drill going at the moment. My lorikeet's decided to shut up so I can't really hear her. She's standing right in front of me. But I can hear birds like in the distance. So I've got the mic set on to the two channel format and what that does is that records uh, MS and the XY at the same time so we've got surround sounds and two channel bass all means we have left and right and it blends the MS and the XY patterns together. Four channel does the same thing, but it just records them separately. And uh, it's currently peaking at minus 18 when I talk. And uh, the mic gain is set to three, I believe. So just, yeah, just doing a little basic test. Uh, everything else seems to be perfectly fine with it. I'm just walking back and forth. Uh, We've got to keep my hand still on the mic because otherwise you can probably hear that there. 
that's the um, the body noise when touching it. I've just stepped inside so you can probably hear the difference. So this is me talking inside, walking outside, and you can see the difference as soon as I walk outside uh, because it echoes more in one space, not enough uh, objects for my voice to soak into the surroundings. So I think this wraps it up for the Zoom H2N test and I uh, shall leave it at that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, before I go, I will just let you know that I am recording in, let's have a bit of a look at what format that is. Just going through the instruction manual, which is actually quite detailed. I've been having a bit of a, um, bit of a flick through it, just having a bit of a read. And it tells you, it tells you a lot a lot of everything it tells you um, what formats are best for using. Um, I'm using a wave format because with a wave format I can convert it after, but it, it's a higher audio quality as well. Here we go. This is the page I want. Um, I'm recording at wave forty-eight kilohertz, uh, twenty-four bits. Uh, it does go up to 96 kilohertz at 24 bits, but I didn't think I needed that. So the larger the file size, um, the higher the quality, and vice versa. So that wraps it up. Uh, I feel like I might. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a radio at the moment. This is Aaron J. Adard signing off. All right. Remember to share, like, and uh, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Alright, see you. Bye.